Hello, my name is Gail Morton. I'm going to show you how to find some articles. So we're going to start at libraries.mercer.edu and we're going to do a very basic search in a very basic database. There are about a hundred databases, hundreds of databases, and they can get specific to the subject that you're studying, but we're going to keep we're going to keep it very general for this type of search so you can see how it works. Now I, I put in there social injustice and race. Click search. I got a lot of hits. I got 199, 387. You can see how many results I have. So we're going to limit that. The last video for books, I showed you how to find find just books with this drop down arrow. And you can still do that, but I'm going to bring your attention over here to the far left. Refine your results. For this assignment, you might need peer review journals. I'm going to click on that. And what that means is. Um, Let's just say your professor wrote an article and sent it to get published. When he sends it off, other experts in the same field review it so it's peer reviewed. Then they decide if they're going to publish it or edit it. So since I picked peer reviewed, I have to hit apply a filter. You'll see our numbers of results go down to 72. We can keep limiting over here if you like. We can go to resource type articles, but we are, we've limited it to peer review, so we'll leave it at that. But you can also look for books here and book chapters. Okay. We can click on subject and limit it some more. Let's drop down arrow. Okay. You can see social injustice and in race in humans or in education. And you see there's 4,343 right here. You can see it in law, environmental justice, get the idea there. You can also do um, creation date. You can limit your results by date and if you want to change the date you can. I'm going to leave it alone as it is because I picked um, peer reviewed. I'm going to open one up. You can see how this works. Just open up the first one. Okay, here's my article. Here's my citation. I'll just click on that again so you can see. It's at MLA, there's APA, Chicago, and a few others, and there's AMA, ASA. And I want this, I'm going to see it. Full text availability. And you can see some of the databases that it's in. Sometimes you'll see this most recent year is not available got it for this year. So I'm just pulling this article up. And here it is. We've left Discovery now. And we've gone into another database, ProQuest. You can download the PDF here. Again, if you need a citation tool, this is it. If you want to do email, you can, but you're going to have to make an account in ProQuest first. And then when you want it, you have to sign in to ProQuest. So it's probably just best to download it right here and save it to your hard drive. And that's how you find a peer-reviewed article using Discovery Database.